This, this is a Radio Realtors. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Real, real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go and sell some homes. Welcome to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show. I have had several cups of coffee today, and I'm fired up, Frank. We are coming to you live from the Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Studios. If you want those carpets, those tile floors or hardwood floors, area rugs, upholstery, all that expertly cleaned without harmful chemicals for your kids and your your dogs and your cats well you need to go to zero res because they have a scientific method that is uh, safe for your entire family and it's the only place that we recommend to get any of that stuff done zero res sacramento.com you can go there just book an appointment zero res sacramento.com my name is Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consigliere of real estate. And as they say in New York, how you doing? Is that how they, is that what they say? <laughs> yeah, Man, they you do. just like totally, uh, I think you just blew out Matt's eardrums at the <laughs> studio. Is that what they say? How, how you doing? You doing? That's funny. Well, if you've got a question, a comment, or you just want to hire us, the radio realtors, because a lot of people like to, and a lot of people do, and you can call us 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or you can do what, Frank? They can call us on our hotline at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or you can live chat with us 24-7 at our website at radiorealtors.com. That's radiorealtors.com. And we have a kicking show for you today with these topics. Number one, a tale of two goals comparing the Women's World Cup to buying a home in Northern California. I'm looking forward to that one. And then we've got an interview with Jeff Quick Close in Compton, he's one of our preferred mortgage lenders. He's going to give us a mortgage update and just read the tea leaves of what's going on in the mortgage market, Frank. And then number three, four expert tips to sell a home with pets. I love pets. I love pets. I love every kind of pet. <laughs> so once again, you can get a hold of the Radio Realtors on our hotline at 833-32-RADIO, 833-32-RADIO. Or live chat options 24-7 at our website, radiorealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. So, Frank, the Women's World Cup in soccer is set to begin next week. Oh, it's right up your alley, dude, I brother. I love it. And, you know, whether you enjoy watching soccer or not, you may be wondering why we're talking about it at all on the Radio Realtors. Well, today we're going to compare the World Cup to the process of buying a home in Northern California right now. And Rob, aren't the U.S. Women's National Team going for their third straight World Cup win? They sure are, Frank. And uh, three-peat. In any sport is very hard to do, but for the World Cup, it's even more difficult because the tournament is only once every four years. So our women soccer stars like Alex Morgan, Megan Rapino, Lindsay Horan, and the rest of them have a monumental task ahead of them. Folks, for our listeners, you used to see the glee on Robert's face because soccer was his life as a young kid. <laughs> That's he true. is just digging this. I, and I'm still and I'm still uh, into it. And um, my family coaches, but I coach soccer. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, and both of these things may appear unrelated at first glance, playing in the World Cup and buying a home. However, upon closer examination, these two endeavors share surprising similarities. Yeah, right, Frank. So on the Radio World today, we're going to explore the seven points of comparison that we put together between these seemingly distinct activities. And by analyzing these points, we're going to aim to uncover the underlying connections and draw some insightful parallels. And we're going to help our listeners who are ready to kick off their home buying journey. Right, Rob? Nice, Frank, but that's our goal. <laughs> All right, that's a good one, Rob. Okay, point number one for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is both take passion and preparation. Yeah, first and foremost, both the Women's World Cup and buying a home in Northern California, they both demand a significant level of passion and preparation. This is true. Athletes participating in the World Cup dedicate years to honing their skills, enduring rigorous training regimes, and making numerous sacrifices. And likewise, Frank, potential home buyers in Northern California, especially right now, you must invest considerable time researching the market, 
understanding financing options, especially, and ensuring your financial readiness. And both endeavors require meticulous planning, setting goals, and uh, working towards them with unwavering determination. Point number two for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is both have competition and negotiation. Yeah, Frank, the Women's World Cup epitomizes the pinnacle of competition in women's soccer with teams from around the world competing for that coveted trophy. And likewise, the real estate market in Northern California is renowned for its fierce competitiveness. That's right. And in many markets, buyers often find themselves in bidding wars as demand outstrips supply. And just as soccer players, they need to strategize and adapt during matches, home buyers must navigate through multiple offers, negotiate terms, and remain agile in this dynamic market. And the competitive nature of both arenas requires a resilient spirit and a willingness to push boundaries. And for real estate, having realtors who are great negotiators is totally key. And that's what we provide here at the Radio Realtors. So call us right now if you'd like to get into the game of real estate. 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or live chat with our team 24-7 at RadioRealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. Okay. Point number three for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is you have to make financial considerations. Yeah, Rob, financial concerns play a crucial role in both the Women's World Cup and buying a home in Northern California. That's right, Frank, and hosting the tournament involves substantial financial investments by the organizing committee and the participating countries. And likewise, buying a home in Northern California, especially right now, requires careful financial planning, securing loans, and considering long-term affordability. And both endeavors demand financial wisdom as well as the ability to make informed decisions and manage your resources effectively. And that's why we encourage all of our clients to talk to one of our preferred mortgage lenders and get a game plan for their home purchase. This includes getting RWA certified. And we're going to have one of our preferred mortgage lenders on the show here in just a, a little bit, Jeff Quick Close and Compton from Guild Mortgage. And he's going to be able to give you great information on what's going on in the market Rob, as what's, well. Rob, what's RWA mean? That means ready, willing, and able. So that is one step ahead of pre-approval. You got pre-qualification, pre-approval, and then you've got RWA certified, which basically means you're guaranteed to be able to buy a home. All right. So what's point number four, Frank? Okay. For success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market, it's an emotional investment. Right. The Women's World Cup and buying a home in Northern California also mean a significant emotional investment. And in athletes, they pour their hearts and souls into representing their countries, carrying the weight of the national expectations, and even their personal dreams. Equally, home buyers in Northern California often envision their new home as a haven, a place to build memories and create a sense of belonging. Yep. And the emotional attachment to these pursuits adds an extra layer of complexity and significance, highlighting the importance of making thoughtful choices that align with your personal values and your aspirations. Now, we have got to go to break, but we're going to come back with point number five for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market. If you'd like to get a hold of the Radio Realtors, call us right now at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO or live chat with us 24-7 at RadioRealtors.com. And we'll be back right after this. What the heck was that? That was the Empire Home Loans Fast Close Race Car. The what? The Empire Home Loans Fast Close Race Car. Dang, that thing was really moving. Well, here's the deal. We're shifting into high gear and accelerating into a buyer's market. And due to low inventory, a fast close can get you across the finish line and into your dream home. Perea Shivali and his team at Empire Home Loans close loans fast in as little as 10 days. Yeah, but what about interest rates? Aren't they higher right now? Yeah, but they're still well below the average. And right now, potential home buyers are coming in first place in the home buying race with Empire Home Loans. Hey, I'm looking online. Home buyers are getting closing costs paid, credits for repairs, and even interest rate buy downs? That's a fact, Jack. And it's even possible to buy a home right now with little to no money out of your pocket. And like I said, you can close in as little as 10 days. Woo, that's fast. You bet it is. Find out more at PariaLoans.com. That's B-O-O-R-I-A Loans.com. NMLS ID number 209-9042. Equal housing lender. Brandon Tatum here, host of the Officer Tatum Show. Have you heard 
heard that teamwork makes the dream work? Well, I've been part of some really special teams. I play football, I worked in law enforcement, and even my team here on the radio. And if you're wanting to buy a home anywhere in Northern California, call the dream team, Rob Lewis and Frank Crandall, the radio realtors with EXP Realty. Check this out. Royce and Angela were first-time homebuyers wanting to buy a home in Lincoln. Rob and Frank met with them, discussed their wants and needs for a home, got them pre-approved with one of their preferred mortgage lenders, and had them out looking for homes the very same day. Rob and Frank found them the perfect home and negotiated a great price. And in just 21 days, Royce and Angela had the keys to their dream home. As a home buyer, they can help you win too, even in this shifty market. Call the dream team, Rob and Frank, the radio realtors with EXP Realty at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Online at radiorealtors.com. That's radiorealtors.com. DRE number 0140-6275. If your house smells foul, like mold or smoke, who are you going to call? If your house smells bad, like your dog or cat, who are you going to call? Smoke Busters affordably neutralizes odors without harsh chemicals. Call them today at 916-880-5335 or book online at smoke-busters.com. That's smoke-busters.com. This, this is a Radio Realtors. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. Who are you? Some kind of real estate agent? Real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go and sell some. Here we go. All right, welcome back to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show, proudly coming to you live from the Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Studios. And there's only one place that we recommend to get your carpets, your hardwood floors, your tile floors, your upholstery, and your area rugs clean without harmful chemicals. And that is zeroresacramento.com. If you go to their website, you can get a quote. You can also book an appointment, zeroresacramento.com. Zero Res spelled the same way, forwards and backwards, and they have that scientific method that is safe for you and your family. No harsh chemicals. That's why we go there, Frank. You know, Rob, I bet you there's a lot of people who still don't have their houses picked up from the July 4th party. Right. Cleaned up, yeah. Yeah, it was a long weekend, and just call them. Just yeah. come in and take care of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you might even add, you know, your dogs or cats got spooked, and oh. they might have made a little mess in your on your carpet and yeah. things like that. And those fireworks get louder and louder every year. They certainly do. And you know what? We had three dogs at our house on the July 4th. I and they were tearing them. in and out of the house and it was nuts. So we definitely need to call Zero Rest. So get your carpets clean, get your upholstery clean, get all of that stuff clean safely and effectively at ZeroResSacramento.com. And yeah, tell them the Radio Realtors sent you. Yep. My name is Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consigliere of real estate. And we're discussing a tale of two goals comparing the Women's World Cup to buying a home in Northern California. And, you know, obviously... Most of you know that have listened to this show for any length of time that I'm a big soccer fan or football, as the rest of the world calls it, besides the United States and Canada, I think. But I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan He's and I coach. Yeah, I coached uh, girls premier league soccer and um, I just loved it. And I coached the boys, too. But I'm not coaching right now, but my daughter is coaching for Wood Creek High School and uh, for Rockland FC. And I love to watch her coach. And uh, my son is doing uh, goalkeeping coaching and it's just fun. But All in the family. Yeah, and they, they got soccer scholarships for college, so uh, it's been good for us. But good. that's why we're talking about the World Cup and comparing it to buying a home in today's market here in Northern California. Now, point number one for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's market is you have to have passion and preparation. And it just takes some time for you to make sure that your financial goals are there, your financial readiness, you understand financing options, you've done researching on the market, and that you're working with great realtors. And if you're, you want to be on our team, we are looking for some people that are willing to be coachable. We help people every single week get houses. So give us a call, 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Point number two for success in the World Cup 
and buying a home in today's real estate market is they both have competition and negotiation. And, you know, the World Cup for women's soccer is the epitome. It's like the pinnacle of soccer throughout the world, right? And likewise, in the real estate market in Northern California, we're in a fierce competitive market right now. And so you've got to stand out and you've got to be ready. And just as soccer players need to strategize and adapt during matches, home buyers they got to navigate through a lot of things in this crazy market. And we're going to hear a little bit more about mortgage rates and those types of things with Jeff Compton coming up in our next segment. You can also live chat with our team 24-7 at RadioRealtors.com. Point three for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is you have to make financial considerations. And this is really, really important. We talk about getting RWA certified. Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is going to be on on our next segment. I think I've mentioned that a couple times, but he helps people be completely ready to get into the game of real estate. And you know, if you want to be a starting player, you want to be not on the sidelines, you want to be in the game, you need to have that RWA certification. Now, point number four for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market, it's an emotional investment. I think this is one of the most important. I really, really do. Right. You know, the emotional attachment to both pursuits adds an extra layer of that complexity and significance. And so you definitely want to make choices that align with your personal values and aspirations. And that's why we say it is a good idea for you to make a list of your wants, needs, and desires for a home. The non-negotiables, like I really need three bedrooms and two baths. You know, if a home is two bedrooms and two baths, it's not going to work for you. Or you need a backyard and the home that you're looking at has a postage stamp backyard with just a little patio, okay? There's some things that you're going to need. Those are non-negotiables. And those are the things that you're making an emotional investment in. What is point number five, Frank? Point number five for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is you have to navigate uncertainty. Yeah, Frank, this is a mental game because both the Women's World Cup and the process of buying a home in Northern California involve dealing with doubt. Yeah, Rob, in soccer, no team can predict the outcome of a match or or see unforeseen circumstances That may influence the game. Yeah, and in the same way, the real estate market is subject to unpredictable fluctuations with housing prices and mortgage interest rates influenced by factors beyond anybody's individual control. And in both cases, the ability to adapt, make informed decisions during uncertainty and handle unexpected changes is crucial for achieving desired outcome. Yep, that's right, Frank. Okay, now point number six for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is legacy and impact. Yeah, Rob, the Women's World Cup and purchasing a home in Northern California leaves enduring legacy. The World Cup creates lasting memories for players, fans, and nations alike, shaping the trajectory of women's soccer in a global scale. Likewise, Frank, buying a home in Northern California provides individuals with a sense of ownership, stability, and a place to you know, lay down some roots. It seems both endeavors have the potential to make a significant impact, be it in sports or shaping personal lives and communities. That is so true. Now, point number seven for success in the World Cup and buying a home in today's real estate market is community engagement and belonging. Yeah, Rob, both the Women's World Cup and buying a home in Northern California fosters community engagement and a sense of belonging. Right, and the tournament, it really does bring people together, uniting fans from diverse backgrounds, cultures, and nations to celebrate soccer, and that's the sport that they love. Yeah, in the same way, purchasing a home in Northern Cal provides an opportunity to become part of a vibrant community, connect with neighbors, and contribute to the local social fabric. And in both cases, these activities, they transcend individual pursuits, emphasizing the importance of a collective experience and a sense of belonging. So the wrap up here is a Women's World Cup and buying a home in Northern California may initially appear totally unrelated, but they share some profound similarities when you really examine them closely, Frank. That's right, Rob. And as we said, Both requires passion, preparation, and the ability to navigate challenges and uncertainty. That's correct. And financial considerations, emotional investment, and the desire to leave a lasting legacy are vital to both endeavors. In addition, both promote community engagement, belonging, and the pursuit of personal and collective goals. And I think, Frank, by exploring these seven points of comparison, 
we've really gained a deeper appreciation for the underlying connections between these seemingly different activities. So what we're saying here is that if you are even thinking about buying a home in today's market or in the future, you need to reach out to the best coaches in real estate. That's right. And that would be us, Robin Frank at the Valley Dream Team with EXP Realty. Yeah, so call us now at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or you can live chat with us 24-7 at RadioRealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. And the bottom line, folks, is is that we want to work with you. We want you to be a part of our team. And we have a lot of players that will help you achieve that goal of home ownership. So give us a call, 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. And let us help you kick off your journey in home buying. 833-32-RADIO, 833-32-RADIO. Or you can live chat with us 24-7 at RadioRealtors.com. And we'll be back right after this. That was the Empire Home Loans Fast Close Race Car. The what? The Empire Home Loans Fast Close Race Car. Dang, that thing was really moving. Well, here's the deal. We're shifting into high gear and accelerating into a buyer's market. And due to low inventory, a fast close can get you across the finish line and into your dream home. Perea Shivali and his team at Empire Home Loans close loans fast in as little as 10 days. Yeah, but what about interest rates? Aren't they higher right now? Yeah, but they're still well below the average. And right now, potential home buyers are coming coming in first place in the home buying race with Empire Home Loans. Hey, I'm looking online. Home buyers are getting closing costs paid, credits for repairs, and even interest rate buy downs. That's a fact, Jack, and it's even possible to buy a home right now with little to no money out of your pocket. And like I said, you can close in as little as 10 days. Woo, that's fast. You bet it is. Find out more at parealoans.com. That's B O O R I A loans.com. And MLS ID number 2099042. Equal housing lender. Brandon Tatum here, host of the Officer Tatum Show. Have you heard Heard that teamwork makes the dream work? Well, I've been part of some really special teams. I play football, I worked in law enforcement, and even my team here on the radio. And if you're wanting to buy a home anywhere in Northern California, call the dream team, Rob Lewis and Frank Crandall, the radio realtors with EXP Realty. Check this out. Royce and Angela were first-time homebuyers wanting to buy a home in Lincoln. Rob and Frank met with them, discussed their wants and needs for a home got them pre-approved with one of their preferred mortgage lenders and had them out looking for homes the very same day. Rob and Frank found them the perfect home and negotiated a great price. And in just 21 days, Royce and Angela had the keys to their dream home. As a home buyer, they can help you win too, even in this shifty market. Call the dream team, Rob and Frank, the radio realtors with EXP Realty at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Online at radiorealtors.com. That's radiorealtors.com. DRE number 0140-6275. If your house smells foul, like mold or smoke, who are you going to call? If your house smells bad, like your dog or cat, who are you going to call? Smoke Busters affordably neutralizes odors without harsh chemicals. Call them today at 916-880-5335 or book online at smoke-busters.com. That's smoke-busters.com. This, this is the Radio Realtors. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. Who are you? Some kind of real estate agent? Real, real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go with Celsius. All right, welcome back to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show, proudly coming to you live from the Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Studios. And there is only one place that the Radio Realtors recommend when you need your carpets cleaned, your upholstery, your area rugs, your hardwood floors, your tile floors, and that is ZeroResSacramento.com. Zero Res is spelled forward and backwards the exact same way. And you know what, Frank? They don't use any harmful chemicals. It is a scientific method that is guaranteed to make your carpets and every other surface clean as a whistle. So, and pet friendly. And they are pet friendly and child friendly. So <laughs> it's safe for you and your family. So go to ZeroResSacramento.com. That's ZeroResSacramento.com. 
Tell them the Radio Realtors sent you. My name is Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your Consul Yeti of real estate. And thank you for listening. And as promised, we have a mortgage update with one of our preferred mortgage lenders. The it's, man. It is Jeff Quick Close in Compton. Jeff, thanks <laughs> so much for being on the Radio Realtors today. We totally appreciate it. You're welcome. How are you, gentlemen? Uh, we're doing, doing pretty well? good. Pretty good. We're good. just trying to awesome. navigate this crazy market that we're in right now. Oh, and, man. you know, we've been Sorry. super busy. But, but we need somebody to read the tea leaves. Yeah, we need to, yeah, <laughs> some, somebody to read the tea leaves and kind of tell us and our listeners what's going on in the market. So can you kind of just tell us what you're seeing in the mortgage market right now and what you th- think maybe the future is going to look like? Sure. You know, uh, obviously our world kind of centers around interest rates. And uh, I don't think there's any doubt that the Fed is going to raise rates later this month in the month of July. And I think there's bias towards raising in August and September probably too. So that obviously has a pretty direct effect on what mortgage rates do. So this last week, as I hate to say it, uh, mortgage rates have climbed to about the 7% level in general. You know, there's some exceptions to that depending on a borrower's profile. But in general, interest rates are, are right in the neighborhood of 7%. And uh, you know, that's a high that we have not seen uh, in, in many years. You know, that, that does have an effect on buyers' appetite for purchasing. But what I'm seeing is it's a great opportunity for those buyers that are, that are very serious that understand that this is temporary, these rates at where they are. And with the higher rates, there are probably less buyers out there to compete with. So get the home that you want. Take this rate now and then look forward to refinancing in the next months to come. You know, that, that's kind of what we're seeing in, in general. I really am am encouraging my buyers to uh, to take a very strong look at continuing in the purchase market. We'll see how that pans out over the next uh, few weeks. And so it's basically that philosophy of marry the house, date the rate, right? Because rates aren't always going to be where they are right now. I mean, they could go higher, but they also potentially are going to go lower at some point, right? Yeah, I think in the short term, yes. And I think in the short term, we may see higher rates. I mean, I've heard some forecasts, you don't want to hear this, but some forecasts that they could, they could go over the 7% mark into maybe the 8% mark. But that, that's all crystal ball stuff at this point. Yeah, yep. Yep. yeah absolutely. Exactly. So now uh, for people that, like you said, and we've been ta- you know, kind of saying this for months, is that when rates, like let's say there was just magically rates dropped 2%, they were in the fours and fives again. Well, that's going to bring a ton more buyers into the market. So what yeah, that but- is effectively going to do is going to, it's actually going to raise home prices because if you've got 10, 20 offers on a home, then we're going to start seeing bidding wars and people going supply you know, and demand. Yeah. $50,000 yeah. over list, a hundred thousand dollars over list. And those people that were doing loans that can't do that are going to be, you know, without a home. So for that first time buyer, if they've got you know, good income, you know, steady W-2 income or what have you. They've got good debt to income ratio. They've got good credit score. This is a great opportunity to maybe get into the home and possibly even get some of your closing costs paid because don't you see some of the sellers are being a little more flexible on those types of things? Yes, Yes, sir. Sure have. I like you, like you said, I think it's a great time for, for many borrowers. And if you decide to wait, you may be sad down the road. Well, it's not only that, Rob. Yep. Uh, what I've noticed is, I mean, they say prices are coming down a little, but they're not coming down that much, right, Jeff? No, they're not. Marginally at all, if at all. And it, what, what we're actually seeing is that on those higher price ranges, like anything under, I would say, 500000 if it's priced appropriately, it's still going yep. You know, in this market. Yeah, it's gone. But what we're seeing in the I, homes, maybe I 600, agree. 700, 800, you know, up to a million, we're seeing some where the where the sellers are maybe willing to do some concessions, to do some negotiation. Yeah. yeah, so doing some seller concessions. I mean, we had one uh, buyer that we were working with there, uh, Jeff. That uh, the home was listed at one point two million, and the home was worth every bit of one point two million. We put in an offer for one point one million, so a hundred thousand dollars below, and that would be an extreme deal. And the the sellers accepted, and it was there was no countering at all. We are seeing in the upper price ranges. We're definitely seeing that there's some possibilities there, but it goes from person to person, house to house, and and loan product to loan product, right? That's right, correct. And then there's going to be there's so much pent up demand for folks that have been in their home four or five, six years with these low rates that once rates come back down to a reasonable level, there's so much pent up demand that it, it it's going to be a buying frenzy again, in my opinion. So so again, now I I really truly believe that now is the time to secure the property. 
and, and improve on the rate as, as months go by. Now, I, I got one question for you, Jeff, and we get this from our listeners quite often. And that's the thing is that they're asking, what is the Fed trying to theoretically do by raising the rates as high as they have been? So they're, they're trying to, to um, bring inflation back into a reasonable level. Uh, inflation is the arch enemy of interest rates, and they're just they're trying to bring that inflationary level down by raising rates and decreasing spending a little bit, decreasing you make the cost of borrowing to spend more expensive for the consumer. So to, to kind of dissuade the consumer for chasing these high priced goods because that continues to fuel inflation. And wouldn't it, it wouldn't it be better for our government if we were a nation of renters because then they don't have the tax advantages? Possibly, possibly. Yeah, I, I've never pondered it that way, but that's possible. Although our our economy, a large degree of our economy, is based on real estate activity. So I'd hate to I'd hate to see you know the renters market become prevalent over home you know home buyers and homeowners. Huh. So us too. Rob and I were in a meeting the other day, and one of the uh, high ranking officers in the company says they're they're really kind of forcing people to rent. You know, I never thought of it that way. And it kind of shook me to the core a little bit and go, I don't even want to go down down that rabbit hole. Yeah, you don't. Right. (laughs) Right. And also the thing there, though, too, uh, as you said, Frank, is that if that's something that they're trying to do, I mean, it's even more of an incentive for potential borrowers and our listeners to if they are renting right now to to get into a home, because if interest rates continue to climb, that means your payment's going to continue to climb. But rents are going to go up, too, yeah. because if there's more people needing rent, you know, to, to rent, then they're going to be able to pick, you know, from the, the litter, basically, and increase those those rental prices. And it costs more to get into a rental than it does a home. Right. And then if you're paying, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say you're paying, you know, if you're paying $2,000 a month, which would be a pretty low uh, rent, you're paying $24,000 a year towards your landlord's mortgage. Well, and then if you do, right. if it's three thousand, that's thirty six thousand. I mean, it, it's a lot of money that you're spending, and you're getting no tax advantages whatsoever. So, buying a home, it's a forced savings plan, right? You're building equity as you go, and you're able to leave a legacy for your family. So, I think buying and, and with, is a better idea. And with a couple of the down payment assistance programs, if you can get some seller cooperation, as you mentioned a few minutes ago on closing costs, we're getting buy, buyers into homes with no money out of pocket. And that's mm. that's assuming you're going to get the buyer, the seller to pay closing costs for you. But the down payment assistance program covers your down payment. So that should provide some pretty good motivation for some buyers out there, for sure. Yeah. So, Jeff, if somebody wants to get into this process and talk to you about getting RWA certified with your mortgage team there. Uh, what's the best right. way to get a hold of you? Probably just my cell phone, 916 765 2900. Email also at jcompton at guildmortgage.net. And they yeah. can also go to your website and just do an online application, and it's just jeffcompton.com, right? Perfect. Jeffcompton.com. So it's 916 765 2900. That is Jeff's direct line. He also can give you a number that will get to his team 24 seven. That, that is, I love that about and, Jeff. Right. And I've tried that before at different times and someone actually answers, answers the phone. or they call you back like really, really fast. <laughs> yeah. So let me throw that number. Out okay. Go quick. ahead. Like said, yeah. 916-932-8115. Yeah. So 916-932-8115 is the secret hotline for Jeff's team <laughs> where they will answer. So 916-765-2900. 916-932-8115, or you can go online to jeffcompton.com. And then if you didn't get any of that information, guess what you can do? You can call us at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or you can go online and go to our vendors page. And uh, our website is super easy. It's theradiorealtors.com. Thanks once again, Jeff, for being on the Radio Realtors today. We appreciate your intelligence on the matter. <laughs> All right, you guys, you're welcome. And thanks for the opportunity and just have a great day. Thank you, Jeff, very much. All right, bye, guys. Back after this.
You know what that sound is? That's your wake-up call. What do you need to wake up from? It's the nightmare of paying your landlord's mortgage. Think about this. If you're paying $2,500 a month for rent, you're paying $30,000 of your landlord's mortgage a year, and that should have you waking up in a cold sweat. Why not make a resolution today to buy your very own home? Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is ready to help you. The market has changed, and it's leaning towards being a buyer's market, and that means you could buy a home now, not overpay, or be in a bidding war, and maybe even get some of your closing costs paid for you. Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is a mortgage master and he specializes in customizing a loan for your unique situation. Jeff even has down payment assistance loans and ideas to buy down your interest rate. Answer your wake up call. Call Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage at 916-765-2900 or apply online at jeffcompton.com NMLS ID number 298997. Thank you for calling Jeff Compton's office. It's a great day to buy a home. How can we help you? There's adventures in life that can be quite scary, like volcano illusion, for instance. Oh, look out for the lava! Turn left! Ah! Or swimming with sharks. Oh, this wasn't supposed to be scary! Ah! Or running with the bulls. Ah! Oh, hurry! Ah! But there's one adventure that shouldn't be scary, and that's buying a home. That's why we recommend Adventure Home Inspections. They'll check everything from a home's major systems, including HVAC, interior plumbing, electrical systems, as well as the structural components, such as the foundation, floors, walls, ceilings, attics, roof, doors, and windows. Hey everyone, this is August, owner of Adventure Home Inspections. One of the best ways to protect your home buying investment is a high quality home inspection from Adventure Home Inspections. You can trust that you're in good hands, so give me a call, 916. 367-2735 or visit us online at adventurehomeinspections.net Start your adventure right with Adventure Home Inspections. Attention homeowners cyber thieves are now coming for you there have been huge losses from title fraud. Over 83 million property owners are at risk. Many companies you hear of offer title monitoring this does not protect your title from being stolen. It only notifies you that the crime has occurred. EquityProtect.com doesn't just monitor we will actually protect your title and equity with our patented technology. For only pennies a day, you can have confidence that your title and property cannot be stolen. Don't just monitor your home's title, protect it. Only EquityProtect.com will lock down your property's title and equity. With EquityProtect.com, cyber thieves cannot access or steal your property's title. Go to TryEquityProtect.com to sign up or schedule a free consultation to see if your home is at risk. When you go there, use promo code RADIO50 to save $50 on the initial sign up. There's a 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to tryequityprotect.com. That's tryequityprotect.com and protect your financial future. This, this is a Radio Realtors. I sold a house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go and sell some homes. Are you ready to fall in love with you? That was pretty good, actually. I'm impressed. All right, welcome back to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show. We are proudly coming to you from the Zero Res Sacramento Carpet Cleaning Studios. And I look around here at the carpets in this room, Frank, and they have been Zero Resified. They look fantastic. And it is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, make our studios just clean and safe. Well, if our listeners pay any attention to us, we wouldn't have it any other way because we'd be raising holy hell. That's true. It's yeah. got to be clean. Yeah, it's got to be clean. And Zero Res Sacramento is the place to go to get your carpets, your hardwood floors, your tile floors, your upholstery, and even your area rugs, all Zero Resified. Just say yes. Yeah, just say yes. Go to ZeroResSacramento.com, ZeroResSacramento.com, and please tell them that the Radio Realtors sent you. I'm Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consigliere, real estate. And I got to tell you, Frank, that last segment with Jeff Compton talking about the market, that I felt like I was sitting at the feet of a sage that I climbed a giant mountain to get to, and he's been sitting up there just to answer your questions. Well, he's um, very calming, and that's what I love about Jeff. Yeah. Because a lot of people yeah. just freak out, 
oh my God, seven percent interest rates, and right. he's very soothing with ways to beat the market. Yeah, and Jeff is a problem solver too, and that's what I love about Jeff. He's you know, also so. an ex CPA. Yes, and that really helps. Yeah, that means that he's analytical very. and he's a numbers guy. Yeah, and then he's got a great team. We were talking about the World Cup. He has a great team over there with sure Shelly and sure Mary, and they're just fantastic. So if you're ready to get into the home buying game, you need to give us a call so we can put you in touch with Jeff and we can you know get you on the pitch, as they say in soccer, right? So we're ending the show with four expert tips to sell a home with pets. And this is a sometimes a little bit of a touchy subject, but you know your pets are a member of your family and you love them as such. But when it's time to sell your home, they can create a bit of a challenge in a few key ways. And you're not alone if you're trying to sell a home and you have pets or you want to sell a home and you have pets. Around 60% of sellers have pets, with 49% being dogs and 33% being cats. However, buyers either want to visualize their own pets in your home or depending on their preferences, absolutely no pets at all, Frank. Yeah, and even though we love our furry friends, pets can also create messes and odors that can turn buyers off. With that in mind, Frank, we're going to share some things on the Radio Realtors today that you need to make sure you do before you try to sell a home where pets live. And folks, don't take this personal, but Rob and I have had to go into houses and tell people your house smells and it's very emotional for some people but you know what we have solutions we do have solutions and we're going to give them to them today exactly yeah absolutely all right so expert tip number one to sell your home with pet make sure you do a deep clean yeah it is important when your house is about to be on the market that you keep it incredibly clean especially if you've got those critters and you want to make sure you get to the root cause of any odors as well. For example, if you have rugs or carpets, you might need to have them professionally cleaned or even replaced to eliminate pet odors. Yeah, and if you need to have your carpets clean, I mean, we totally, like we said at the beginning of the show and beginning of every segment, we recommend Zero Res. Get your free quote at ZeroResSacramento.com. It's free. Yeah, they don't use harmful chemicals and they have a scientific process that will get your carpets, tile, hardwood floors, and other surfaces super clean. And if there's any lingering odors after you deep clean, just don't try to mask them. Instead, work to truly get rid of them. Right, Frank. And this is where you want to call our friends at Smoke Busters because they actually do neutralize odors without harsh chemicals. And we're talking about smoke, cigarette, cannabis, pet odors, and mold and mildew. And Smoke Busters does this by using powerful UV or ultraviolet light to generate high-purity ozone and that completely neutralizes odors and pathogens, leaving you with a healthier and more inviting home. And one more thing about a deep clean, Frank, is you have to be conscious of not just odors and cleanliness when you have pets, but there may be people who come into your home with pet allergies, and you really want to focus on getting into every corner when you clean to erase any and all evidence of your animals. Yeah, and smoke busters can even help with this. Once you have your carpets and flooring clean by our friends at Zero Res, Smokebusters, using their UV lighting technology, can neutralize even pet dander, dust mites, and viruses. Right. So once again, to deep clean, go to ZeroResSacramento.com and Smokebusters or Smoke-Busters.com. Okay. Expert tip number two to sell your home with pets. Repair damage. Yep. I hate to say it, Frank, but pets can be destructive. They can. And you may overlook some of this damage because you're just used to it, but potential buyers aren't. Yeah, so go through your home with fresh eyes and look for any pet damage that needs to be repaired, like scratched or torn furniture or flooring and chew marks on the baseboards and windowsills. Yeah, and you need to do the same outside of your house as well. Clean up pet waste and cover any signs of digging in your lawn and repair damaged fences and window screens. And I got to tell you, one of my biggest pet peeves is stepping on dog do it is landmines worse yeah it's landmines terrible. yeah it's just the, just the worst so clean up the dog poop folks yep expert tip number three to sell your home with pets put away signs of your pets yep uh just it's a good idea to declutter your home and depersonalize your entire home when you're preparing it to sell you also want to kind of de-pet your house right this means that you take out any cages kennels or play items one exception here would be an outdoor kennel or dog run. I agree with that, Frank. However, you should pack up the rest of these items when your home is going to be shown. Put pet toys away, as well as food and those water bowls. 
Not everyone loves pets as much as you do. So if you can erase the evidence that they live there, that's a really good thing. That's a good thing. And once again, folks, disclaimer here, we love pets. We have pets. So uh, we're, we're just telling you what potential buyers are looking for and how to present your home in the best light. Now, expert tip number four, our final tip to sell your home with pets is what about showings, Frank? Yeah, Rob, if at all possible, put your pets elsewhere during showings and open house. Right. For showings, maybe you can put them over at your neighbor's house or maybe take them for a walk or something. And for open houses, for example, you might even want to professionally board them. Yeah, because unfortunately, it's really distracting to have your pets trying to escape their kennels when someone is looking at your house. And if your pets do have to stay at home, come up with a solution with us, your realtors. Just don't have people be surprised by your pets. Yeah. For example, maybe you can put them in your garage and leave a few notes if necessary and tell people in your note that they shouldn't try to pet your dog or your cat, even if they're friendly, because you never know how your animals are going to react to unfamiliar people. Especially when you're not around. Right, Frank. And finally, just talk to us realtors about giving you plenty of notice before a showing so you can arrange care for your animals whenever possible. Now, one thing I want to just add is that I have had bad experiences with people's pets, especially their dogs. And I absolutely love dogs, right? But there's been two times where I had a dangerous situation with people's pets and I was around them and they were fine. And then I was alone with them and it was a little bit of a hostile yeah, situation. It is. In fact, there was one time I thought there was a Rottweiler and all of a sudden he turned on me and he was staring me down and I think I looked like a stake to him. <laughs> and I was so scared. I called the owner on the phone and they said, oh, he's never done that before. And so I went out the side door. I didn't go through the, the front and then I locked up, you know, from the front, but I was like, oh my gosh, you know? And then there was one time I was doing open house and these, this lady had three Himalayan cats and they'll stay in the bedroom. Don't worry. Right. And so I, you know, and I, I love cats. Cats are fine. And they're all three on her, the master bed. And they're just like laying out, you know, like on the beach in, you know, Cabo or something. And about an hour and a half into the open house, they decided to come out and check me out. What's going on out here? So they're on the table. They're stretching on people going to the open house. They're pawing people. They're getting petted and they're knocking over all of my display items. And it was just weird. <laughs> you know. So, But it was fine and everything. But, you know, if they weren't there, if that dog wasn't there at that time, that might have been a, a little bit of a, a better situation. I tell you, you know? the one we just closed on. Right. I, I hope everybody can be like Guy and Marjorie. They oh. <laughs> were just, they had a huge dog. Oh, yeah. It's a German Shepherd. They right? were so thoughtful and respectful of us. They took them out when we were coming. They wanted to know constantly if their house smelled like animals. And they were so conscientious. Right. I, I just, I, I appreciate those people so yeah, much. Yeah, no, they're wonderful sellers. Yeah. And uh, they were, you know, very conscious of, you know, what their home smelled like. And that dog, if you saw that dog. <laughs> you know, Cujo. Standing, yeah, well, yeah, it was, it was Storm, right? <laughs> oh but if you saw him God. standing in the hallway, even if he was wagging his tail, you'd be like, mm, that is a big dog. And I think I need to leave now. Yeah, you know? your soul would leave you. <laughs> yeah, ex <laughs> exactly. So the bottom line here is Robin Frank here at the Radio Realtors with the Valley Dream Team at EXP Realty. We love pets. And if you want to get the most money for your home when you're selling, you can't have your home smell like your pets, and there can't be a lot of obvious damage to your home caused by your pets. So if you're thinking about selling your home and you just want to get your true market value, whether you have pets or not, why not give us a call at your pet-friendly realtors, Rob and Frank at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or you can live chat with us at RadioRealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. And that's all the time we have for this show. Make it a great week, everybody. Ow! You know what that sound is? That's your wake-up call. What do you need to wake up from? It's the nightmare of paying your landlord's mortgage. Think about this. If you're paying $2,500 a month for rent, you're paying $30,000 of your landlord's mortgage a year, and that should have you waking up in a cold sweat. Why not make a resolution today to buy your very own home? Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is ready to help you. The market has changed, and it's leaning towards being a buyer's market, and that means you could buy a home now, not overpay, or be in a bidding war, and maybe even get some of your closing 
closing costs paid for you. Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is a mortgage master, and he specializes in customizing a loan for your unique situation. Jeff even has down payment assistance loans and ideas to buy down your interest rate. Answer your wake-up call. Call Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage at 916-765-2900 or apply online at jeffcompton.com, NMLS ID number 298997. Thank you for calling Jeff Compton's office. It's a great day to buy a home. How can we help you? There's adventures in life that can be quite scary, like volcano illusion, for instance. Oh, look out for the llama, turn left. Stop! Or swimming with sharks. Oh, this wasn't supposed to be scary. Ah! Or running with the bulls. Ah! Oh, hurry! Stop! But there's one adventure that shouldn't be scary, and that's buying a home. That's why we recommend Adventure Home Inspections. They'll check everything from a home's major systems, including HVAC, interior plumbing, electrical systems, as well as the structural components, such as the foundation, floors, walls, ceilings, attics, roof, doors, and windows. Hey everyone, this is August, owner of Adventure Home Inspections. One of the best ways to protect your home buying investment is a high quality home inspection from Adventure Home Inspections. You can trust that you're in good hands, so give me a call, 916. 916- 367-2735 or visit us online at adventurehomeinspections.net Start your adventure right with Adventure Home Inspections. Attention homeowners, cyber thieves are now coming for you. There have been huge losses from title fraud. Over 83 million property owners are at risk. Many companies you hear of offer title monitoring. This does not protect your title from being stolen. It only notifies you that the crime has occurred. EquityProtect.com doesn't just monitor. We will actually protect your title and equity with our patented technology. For only pennies a day, you can have confidence that your title and property cannot be stolen. Don't just monitor your home's title, protect it. Only EquityProtect.com will lock down your property's title and equity. With EquityProtect.com, cyber thieves cannot access or steal your property's title. Go to TryEquityProtect.com to sign up or schedule a free consultation to see if your home is at risk. When you go there, use promo code RADIO50 to save $50 on the initial sign up. There's a 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to TryEquityProtect.com. That's TryEquityProtect.com and protect your financial future. Hey, is your electrician giving you static? Because they won't get into your attic. Are they giving you an awe face? Because they won't get into your crawl space? I'm Anthony, the proud owner of A&D Electric. I'm offering free estimates in the greater Sacramento area. There's no job too big or too small. So give me a call. 408-707-4744 408-707-4744 or better yet, Google a and Electric and remember, if life gets too hectic, call a and Electric, that's my dad.